U.S. Bank Arena Cincinnati, Ohio, Adrian Broner and Emmanuel Taylor delivered fireworks in an action-packed 12-round Fight of the Year contender. This bout, this fight was chopped down on social media by boxing experts and a lot of people that are still too stupid enough to realize that their favorite writer is actually, is actually a boxing publicist who is paid to promote a certain promotion and take a shit on Al Heyman fighters. Anyways, Emmanuel Taylor came to fight and he came with the strategy of Marcos Maidana. It seemed that he studied the fight between Adrian Broner and Marcos Maidana because he threw a lot of those same overhand rights which kept catching him over and over and over in the early half of the fight. And it seemed almost as if Broner already knew Taylor was going to come with that strategy because you see Adrian Broner started to break down Taylor's body very early in the fight, which eventually took the gas out of Taylor and caused him to slow down in the 8th, 9th, and 10th round, which, which Adrian Broner won. In the 12th round, Emmanuel Taylor came out swinging, slugging, and he hurt Adrian Broner many times in the round, but Adrian Broner capitalized, capitalized on that body work he had done earlier by landing a shot to Emmanuel Taylor and dropping him with only seconds left in the fight. This fight was for the vacant WBA International Light Welterweight title and Adrian Broner earned it and the judges scores were right this time. 116-111 twice and 115-112 in the post fight interview. Adrian Broner said that he's ready for anyone in the division and he, and he continued to call out Lucas La Máquina Matiz.